I managed to get in another episode. I, I managed to have enough time for another episode, but I have to hurry. Alright? Episode 52, The Lawyer. Alright? 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 Well, we can continue. Anna! No, Anna Lee! Well, well, well. <laughs> you know, that's a, that's a. Obviously, obviously, right? Uh, you're meant. I, I didn't talk about it enough because I didn't. I wanted to see if I could get another episode in, but obviously, you're right. You're meant to think that. Oh, uh, maybe should I say this during? Let's say this during the opening. Let's get started with the episode. Obviously, you're meant to think. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Are we talking about Nina here? Yeah. No, 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 no. Uh, the whole time, you always by the name of. Oh yeah, that's Anna. 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 But nah, 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 nah. <laughs> nah. <laughs> Clearly, that's, her, that's that's the mother, right? Clearly, right? Uh, it says, the whole time I'm starting, I, the whole time I'm starting to think like, uh, is there some time travel going on or anything of that sort? No, no, no obviously not. Obviously not, all right, folks. Anyway, we're gonna get started, folks. In three, two, one. Ah, I've got about thirty minutes of time. <laughs> I can continue. Uh, you don't know how happy I am. I made a call. I can continue. I can continue. Oh, man. Is that the... No, I thought I was the building... Where... Uh, that, uh, that we were... That we saw previously. Escape from everything. He's gonna escape again, isn't he? <laughs> Proud of it as well. Hey, Demma. Just escape. Okay, what, 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 what's your, what's his story now? What's his point in the story now? Alright, let's see. I'm having a great day today. Just knowing I can get one more in has made this day ten times better. I've said this before, and I, you know, the more I watch, the more I believe it's true. This show will end up being in my top five. I'm, I'm certain of it. Once I, once I finish it, it'll end up being in my top five. Uh, I'm just, I just love it so much. <laughs> Straight up. I just love it so much, alright? Sue me. I love the show. <laughs> I don't want to speak too soon, alright? Because, as like I said, I'm not finished yet, but this show... Is had a very good chance of being in my top five. Uh, please stop. Yes, later. Come on. All right. All right. Good. Good. Got about half an hour. Pretty much exactly half an hour. Pretty much, and it's about 25 minutes for an episode, so we, we, we good, man. We good. We swayzy. Watch this episode. I like the worst cliffhanger ever. Uh, maybe I should have stopped. The liar. Adverse, adverse uh, interference. 
you always say even no comment, but never be silent. I'll, I'll say I'll mention why at the end. We're getting a bit lawyer here now, later on. Is that Gunter Milk, whatever his name is? Nah, he doesn't have stomach problems. It is faking. Oh, he took something. No duck. Ah, I see. I see. No, no. Tenma. Yeah, Tenma. That, that was a plan, alright, so, so, so what's the goal here? What's the end goal here? So, so, so you gotta I say please now, eh? You gotta say please now, eh? He's A-OK. -okay. Uh, <laughs> no! He <laughs> just fooled all of you right there with that. You can stop acting now. <laughs> Shall we break out of here? It works. Ah, uh, you snuck in. Oh, yeah, okay. I haven't killed anyone either. No, he hasn't. I think. No, he hasn't. He, he. All right. Escape. Foot here. You know. You know. If work goes well, what are you, a hitman? A fear of tight spaces, a fear of being confined. Had to meet the person that's like a master at breaking out. All right. The lawyer, the episode called the lawyer is, are we gonna meet the lawyer?
Of course. So that's the lawyer. All right, son. You better do that for Tenma too. If he doesn't break out. Hey, Bo. Nice. Salute, sir! I know that's not how it works in real life about law. Uh, you know, but it is what it is. Oh boy. I've got. Oh no. Oh no. I've got a bad feeling. Johan is gonna do something. I feel like. Okay. Alfred Bowl. Ah. Okay. All right, fair enough. Fair enough. I was thinking like Alfred Bowl. Over the rainbow. That's the only part I know, really. <laughs> yeah, his attitude just changed. I got that song triggers him. <laughs> it triggered him. That, that, that just triggered him. Like, he went like. <laughs> I've got a bad feeling that something's gonna happen to them. I know I shouldn't have that feeling, but he didn't—he didn't lock the door either. They're not gonna believe a single word you're saying, but oh well. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Yeah. It, it, it. Yeah. Saving him. Uh. 
Very, very true. Yeah, he's in a predicament, right? He's always been in a predicament, but... Exactly! That's why, in my opinion, like, if, if I ever go into law, which is obviously what I'm studying, I really should be going into it, but... Ah! You know who they are. Yep, he is. I'll, I'll take your case. We'll 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 prove your innocence and the existence. Yep. Yep. But I think instinct. Oh, oh no! <laughs> oh no! I like him. Good. He's got a good lawyer. I think they just walked past. <laughs> yeah. That's 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 pretty. That is a pity look. But you didn't lock your door, that's my issue. Yeah, that much is true. Definitely. <laughs> you say that and yeah, watch the music be something else. Bad feeling, honestly. He, because he's a good person. And in this show, good people they suffer. Eva. She. Mhm. Mm yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. No, 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 no. Yeah, okay, good. I thought maybe like those. Okay, good. All right. That voice actually sounds familiar. He's listening to life.
You ruin your life on your own. I just have a feeling. Oh. That something bad somewhere is going to happen. Yeah. Bad feeling. I just have a bad feeling. Something, something bad is going to happen right here. Let me let me let me see that. Ah. I you can tell by the voice. You can tell by the voice. From, yeah, yeah, from the library, you can tell by the voice. Johan? Oh, fuck. We'll, we'll, we'll take it. We'll, we'll take it. We'll take it. We'll take it. Right, we'll take it. All right. We'll take it. I'll accept it. That wasn't as bad of a cliffhanger, but it was still a stupid cliffhanger. All right. These episodes have been nothing short of fantastic. These episodes have been nothing short of fantastic. Look at him having a lawyer now. The thing is, right, about being a lawyer, right? I'll say this right now. It's just 90% of the time, it really doesn't matter who you represent. Like, like once you study law, right, you know right away, I'm going to I'm gonna represent a lot of innocent people, I'm going to represent a lot of guilty people, right? Uh, let me let me just get something. Let me just. I, I'm going full lawyer right now for like the last. How, how long have I? Got? Let me pause it here. How long have I got? Uh, about five minutes. All right. Uh, all right. Uh, we're going in depth here. All right. That would be the folder. All right. Just to quickly. Just to quickly say something. All right. One of the first things you learn in a book like this, which is advising a suspect in the police station, one of the first things you learn, right, is that you never say no comment, ever. And the reason for that is quite simple. If you say no comment, uh, you, you, you'll have adverse, um, adverse interference. So basically it means that if you go to court, right, they're gonna say they're gonna think. Well, why didn't you? Well, why didn't you say anything at the police station? You know, it, it, is that because you, you you couldn't think of an excuse? You couldn't think of 
a, you know, a story in the police station. So they're, they're automatically going to think that. Even if your solicitor, even if your lawyer tells you, say no comment, the court will still think that. So, so like, it doesn't matter what you... Like, if you're a... If you're a, a suspect in the police station, as Tenma was in this case, you never want to say like nothing. You always want to, even if you're not going to say much, you always want to say something, right? Um, because if you say nothing at all, if you say absolutely nothing at all, you're just making it worse for yourself. Obviously, there's such a thing as if you know pleading guilty. Obviously, he's not going to plead guilty because he's not guilty, right? Let us get that right. He's not going to plead guilty. But if you were to plead guilty, the earlier the better because then you get more off. Uh, for example, if you do it the earliest instance, you get one third off. Later on, you might get up to like one tenth of your sen sentence off. So on and so forth, right? So it, it really depends how early you do it, right? Um, but the point is, just to go back to the solicitor, right? To go back to him, right? You're never gonna you're never gonna represent people. You're never gonna re represent just innocent people. You're never gonna represent people. That he knows that, right? He already, he already even said that. Like, when I represent something, I don't know whether they're good or bad. I just have to go on faith, all right? So, so yeah, fair enough with that. Fair enough, right? But you know, you already know. Once you go into that profession, you know, if you, it doesn't really matter. It really doesn't matter whether they're innocent or guilty. You just do your best of your job. You know, you listen to the facts. Try and do as much as you can. And if it goes well, it goes well. If it doesn't go well, it doesn't go well. You get paid either way. <laughs> At the end of the day, that's really what it boils down. Like a lot of people go into it with like these idealistic views. Like, okay, I'm gonna make a difference. I'm gonna like, rep I'm gonna help like all these people out and that are you know at the bottom of the food chain. I'm gonna help all these people out that can't afford a lot. I'm gonna help all these people out that are innocent and so on and so forth. But at the end of the day, you do it for a year or two, and then you're like, if you were just, to, if you were to just. You know, do cases for people that you believe are innocent. You would be poor. That's straight up. It's, it's already not. It's, it's not already not as um, financially. It's already not a. It's already not a profession that is as financial stable as other people. As people might suggest, or people might believe. But in all fairness, uh, you know, you just gotta take it like you go. It's like it's been like, like a similar situation to obviously Doctor Tenma was like, it doesn't matter who they are. I'm gonna try and do my best job, you know, to to do the surgery right. That's basically what it is. Anyway, folks, thank you everyone who's been here for these four episodes. It's been a fun four episodes. Um, I will see you all next time, everyone. Until then, everyone, peace out and have a nice day.